Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back to Tech Growth. My name is Kuru. And Pratik. Oh. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a CPU at home. And the parts which I have selected are circle cabinet, gigabyte motherboard, WD1 TB hard disk, a FX series AMD processor which is very fast, six core, a Kingston 8 GB HyperX RAM, a GeForce Nvidia 7 GT 710 series graphic card, and a DVD writer of any kind. So and also these two SATA cables. So let's build and the links in description given below. This is my cabinet. Let's start opening it. So he's got all the compartments. Here SMPs and its wires. These wires are for external switches and for these all the switch restart button, audio jacks and USB ports and it also got hard drive RAM, SDD compartment and two DVD compartments and also this is CPU mark. Let's come to the point. So I will start by unboxing my motherboard. As you know, it's Gigabyte 7810MT USB 3 ultra durable version. So let's unbox. You got it? So this is my motherboard. These are some guide used. I don't know for what. I never do one. Woo -hoo! So as you can see, this is my motherboard. It's black hardcore gaming in budget. So these are RAM slots. 1, 2, 3, 4, ADR 3. Uh, 4 SATA cable slots. This is main slot for uh, display. This is graphic card slot, sound card slot, and uh, these are all jacks. This is VGA cable jack, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2.2 will be port. So, this is for printer, HDMI port, 2 3.0 ports, and audio jacks, whatever you can use. And this is for the CPU, it's open and closed. And this is my 8GB RAM Kingston HyperX Fury. I don't want to open this pack. What? It's so cool. Fury. Fury <laughs> Let's unbox my CPU or processor, whatever you call it. It's AMD FX processor. It's 3.5 GHz and 14 MB total cache memory. Black edition. Mm, blue edition. Brown edition. Yellow edition. Every color code they will use. <laughs> so let's open it. This is probably the cooling fan. Now this is the CPU. Uh, AMD, as you can see. Oh. Oh, it's cool. This is the cooling fan. And <laughs> this is. Probably the empty tray of pastries. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> it's same. It's pretty same. It's fucking same. Mokra pastries are tray di lai. So look at the CPU, MD. As you can see, and look at this triangle. It's very important because you have to overlap this triangle and the triangle on the my motherboard. 
so you can see there here is the triangle we have to overlap the triangle of cpu and the triangle of motherboard so let's do it it's very simple actually but it's also important to notice that feature this is my triangle and the triangle of cpu and the triangle of motherboard and it's done make sure it's nicely placed and you you have to lock the make sure again it doesn't come out easily and it's nicely unlocked before mounting the fan on the cpu you must apply a layer of thermal grease so let's do it, it it is very important it cools the fan and it is used to thermally transfer the heat while processing or while the processor in is used don't put too much because while using it get heat up and uh, get spread all over the processor you don't want to come it out or here or there now we apply it grab a piece of tissue to spread it all over nicely it's look kind of icky but it's also important it's done thermal grease is on so, so let's mount the cooling fan don't apply too much of thermal grease because it get expand while cpu is in use due to heat so we don't want to come all over the cpu so locate the brackets and the latches of cpu place it gently see both the side and lock it it should be tight now also secure also check so this pin says cpu fan on it so plug here I just take out the SMPs from my cabinet for the better understanding and grab this big wire and plug it into this big port. Now take this four pin wire and plug it over here. Now let's mount hard disk. Take a SATA cable. Plug into the hard disk. Take out pin from the SMPs, which power of this hard disk. Plug the another side of SATA cable into the one of the SATA ports. RAM. Nice clicking sound. It's done. Now we have to plug in all these wires from the cabinet, which will enable this all the features on the cabinet over here, all the ports. These all pins already named the function what they do on the pin head. So, so just navigate this pin and plug in. So this is for power on and off switch and the power is written over here these are LED pins wherever it goes positive so this is reset restart pin and this is USB for pin it goes over here and last this is SDD pin which which shows that the hard disk is working And we are done. So at last, we check all the pins are correctly installed. 
SMPS2 display pin check SMPS2 power pin check SMPS2 setup pin check audio pin check USB pin check reset power and LED pins checked oh wait we forgot one thing we forgot my graphic card so let's install at the graphic card port and it's done so after every fucking test is over so let's see the display is coming or not if you are using a graphic card plug the monitor VGA port to the graphic card VGA port or else you can simply plug the VGA port of motherboard let's see it's working guys fan is rotating cooling fan and that's what we want so we successfully build a CPU so after building a successful CP I mean PC let's convert this all stuff into one unit These are the motherboard mounts or these holes we have to overlap the holes of motherboard these holes so let's mount it All the mounts are mounted so after every rustless container there is a paper it is sand or it is without sand so just for some protection place a piece of paper before you mount actual motherboard it's not necessary but I do it for the protection or prevent it from rusting or any kind of dust unplug everything and start like a new one and we have to mount the motherboard we should unplug everything as we know how the pin works already overlap the holes see carefully what you have done screw the motherboard screw you motherboard motherboard is mounted install the graphic card again screw it pin up all the things again
Yeah, then do USB. And all the power switches. Tie all the cable with a cable tie. So it will be secure. One power plug into DVD writer and it's set up. Hard drive. Great. Satellite and a power plug. Finally, check everything again. You miss this. And that clicking sound. We are done here. So we finally build it and mount it inside the CPU. At last, thanks for watching these videos, guys. And uh, if you find this video helpful, build your own PC and like our video, subscribe, share. And uh, if you have any queries, uh, comment down us below. Let us know how do you feel about the videos and our creations. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.